Hello everybody, Gertlin from Cape Town and welcome to another video. Ah, I've been on a long holiday again. 40 days, to be exact. With family at my college small holiday house at Pearly Beach. One of those exquisite places on earth. And uh, 40 days is too long a period to not train. So I decided I'm gonna change my single car garage into a makeshift Jeep garage gym. So this system is gonna be around that training program the garage gym training program i used minimal equipment i'm going to go through the list with you now and you need minimal space uh, it's about 13 square meters my my garage my single car garage after i put everything up i still had lots of space to spare you know so uh, you can really get away with very little space now, the system is perfect for the guys like me that wants to maintain uh, shape and size during a holiday break and don't want to go completely crazy with training But you want to do things still quite sharp But it's also a system that would be really good for adding on lean muscle mass uh, It all depends on how much you want to push the limits how intense you want to train and How far to the point of failure you want to go? Well, of course, I picked up some unwanted body fat while on holiday, uh, I mean, if you drink every, every night a glass of red wine and you don't really watch what you eat, you enjoy your time with your family, then um, these things tend to happen. I didn't pick up much, I would say 2-3% body fats, but my size and my shape, spot on, so I'm very happy with that. So obviously early now, in this year, now I'm going to start with my cutting phase to get rid of the unwanted body fat and just to get my shape that sharp again. Oh, you know, as I get older, I want to spend more quality time with family and I don't want to have all these rules, you know, what I can eat and what I don't eat. You know, so I enjoy my time with the family, still keep training and then afterwards I'll get the body fat in check again. For me, my time with my family is all important. Okay guys, the setup. As I mentioned, I used my single garage, small 13 square meters roughly. Let's go quickly through the list of equipment you're going to need. Number one, two adjustable EZ bars. Number two, adjustable dumbbell set. Number three, a stepper. Four, an exercise mat. Five, a large mirror. Now guys, don't get me wrong here, but that mirror is quite critical. Uh, it helps you to get the necessary focus, the necessary mind-muscle connection, and helps you to make sure your technique is good. Adjustable bench seats. Uh, make sure that your bench is adjustable through a various angles. You don't want to train every time on just the same angle. You want to change that angle so as to train a different part of the muscle. One straight long adjustable barbell for the bench press purposes. And then building blocks. Now that is for your best bench press stand and four wood pieces. Now the building blocks itself is quite brittle so you can't when you finish with your bench press, just zap the weight on top of the bricks. It's going to break and then you're going to have major problems. But uh, what I did is I put a soft piece of wood on top of each of these stones or bricks uh, to absorb the impact evenly and distribute it evenly. And also the soft wood stops the barbell from moving or rolling. Number nine cooling fan now that is optional then various loose weights for the barbell and the dumbbells 11 a broomstick or just a 1.5 meter stick and that is all what that's going to cost you phew, i didn't do an actual summary of you know monetary stuff but it's probably going to be the cheapest way of getting a decent training environment for yourself okay let's go on to the actual training program day one now day one is typically considered the monday your primary muscle groups is going to be your pecs and your biceps and your secondary muscle groups is going to be your calves and your abs abs three sets of 26 standing knee raises that's considered your warm-up you must try and raise the knee nipple high and when you at the top position you must squeeze the abs biceps three sets of 30 alternating dumbbell curls now in each set you do 30 reps but remember this is now 15 reps per arm upper pecs three sets of 15 incline bench dumbbell presses. I would suggest to use various incline angles and not always just sticking to a single angle. It's gonna help you changing the attack on different aspects of the muscle. Calls, three sets of 25 seated calf raises. Here I use a bench to sit on with two bricks under the front part of my foot and the easy bar on the upper part of my leg. 
biceps, three sets of 30, dumbbell bicep concentration curls. Now remember each set is 30, so that means 15 per arm. Again, yeah, you must really squeeze that muscle at the top of the exercise. The greater your squeeze is, the greater the bicep peak is going to be. Pecs, three sets of 15 flat bench presses. I use the suicide grip to relieve the strain on, on my wrists. Abs, three sets of 26 standing knee raises. That's considered your cool down move. Day two. Now day two typically be Tuesday. Primary muscle groups, your shoulders and your traps. Secondary muscle groups, abs and upper legs. And again, 21 sets in total. Abs, three sets of 26 air cycling on the mats. That's considered your warm-up. Shoulders, three sets of 30 side lateral dumbbell raises. Do not raise higher than your head. Then you're going to ask for tendon issues. The shoulder height is actually perfect. Traps, three sets of 15 shrugs. I use the two barbells, but you can very easily use two dumbbells. It will work just as well. Upper legs, three sets of 20 squats. Shoulders, three sets of 20 dumbbell military presses. Now with the military presses, I uh, keep my bench in an uh, upright adjustable position to help me support my back. Traps, three sets of 15 shrugs. I use again here two barbells, but as I said, dumbbells just as good. Abs, three sets of 26 air cycling on the mat, and that's considered your cool down. Now after day two, you're going to take one day rest, that's typically Wednesday. Then day three of training, which is now considered Thursday. Your primary muscle group, your back and your triceps. And your secondary muscle groups, upper legs and abs. And again, 21 total sets. Upper legs, three sets of 20 bodyweight squats. That's considered your warm up. Back, three sets of 30 dumbbell rows. Remember, 15 per arm, so one set is 30 reps in total. Squeeze the back muscle at the top point of the exercise. Triceps, three sets of 15 tricep dumbbell kickbacks. Squeeze the tricep at the top point of the exercise. Abs, three sets of 20 standing oblique twist with a broom. Back, three sets of 15 deadlifts. Remember guys, deadlift is one of the key exercises for developing a great body. Triceps, three sets of 15 skull crushes with the EZ bar. Upper legs, three sets of 20 bodyweight squats. That's considered your cool down. Okay, now we're on to day four. Now day four is, let's say Friday. Primary muscles, your upper legs and your calves. And secondary muscles will be your abs. Again, 21 sets in total. Abs, three sets of 26 standing knee raises. That's considered your warm up. Calves, three sets of 25 seated calf raises. Upper legs, three sets of 15 squats. Abs, three sets of 20 standing oblique twists with a broom. Calves, three sets of 25 seated calf raises again and again. Upper legs, three sets of 15 squats. Lastly, it's abs, three sets of 26 standing knee raises and that's considered your cool down exercise. Right guys, now there you have the four days of training. Now the fifth day is optional. That is the day that's reserved for your lacking muscle groups. So on day five, you choose your three worst developed muscle groups. Again, you warm up and you cool down with typically like an ab exercise or like a bodyweight squat exercise. Now for the three weak muscle groups, <coughs> for each muscle group, you must do three sets of an exercise. So you're going to do nine sets in total for the three weak muscle groups. The whole idea of your fifth day training is to get the weak muscle groups on par with the rest of your body. So this is the day you must really put that extra effort in. The squeeze becomes very important when you're at the apex of your exercise. Bicep curl, you're at the top, you lift the weight at that top, you squeeze that bicep. Any move that you do, your side lateral movements, lifting the weight, you squeeze at the top. Every, every exercise, especially when you do day five, when you do it for your weak muscle groups, that squeezing becomes critically important because that helps that mind-muscle connection and that helps that muscle to really grow. It's been proven over and over. All right, guys, as you can see, my information is free. So I would ask that those of you that can afford to please make a small donation to my site and for my efforts to keep the information free and coming. I help uplift many people's lives, not just on the training aspect, but I've got a, a deep 
life coaching aspect to my site as well. So please help me to speak positively into people's lives. I'll put up the donation link for you. Okay, now what's the way forward from this system if you wanna to go to the next level? By far the biggest change that you can put in place would be a wide grip back pull up bar. That kind of exercise. We you pull yourself up and use your back muscles. If you can master that exercise fully, now I'm talking of doing three sets, 10 reps per set, and you do it regularly. I'm telling you, it's gonna ignite your upper body growth like nothing else. That was an exercise, a single exercise that made the biggest difference in all of my training that I ever did. The day that I mastered the wide grip back pull up, just make sure that you tighten this thing tight to the wall uh, because it's dangerous if that thing falls down. Secondly, you might also want to keep your eyes open for a second hand lower back extension piece of equipment. Unfortunately, the whole system that I've got here, the garage training system, doesn't at all go into lower back training. Of course, the deadlift helps to some extent, but there's no specific exercise for the lower back. And the lower back has got such beautiful development of muscles. So it's a pity, you know, that you, you don't do it. But the machines are so expensive and that's why I didn't include it here. So keep your eyes open if you can add that to your collection and do some decent uh, back ex lower back extensions and later on with weights. Uh, it's going to help tremendously in developing the lower back. Now after that, guys, uh, you need to start to get your act really together. Now you need to start introducing cutting and building phases. And for each phase, you need to have the specific training regime that is for that phase plus the specific diet system and the way that you need to manipulate the diets so that it forces results for your body and your goals now it becomes quite technical and quite scientific but the good news is that i've developed the advanced system too which is specifically for the older guy but it, it can help anybody tremendously that is a system that takes you from a to z Point by point, it helps you to put everything into place correctly. It's extremely comprehensive. I customize it for each person's body and for his goals. And unfortunately, there I have to charge because that takes me half a day to customize and work it out for your body. So I'm going to put up the link for you on the screen. You want to move to the next level, you can check it out through that link or you can also sign up through that link. Okay, this is not the end of my training videos. I'm going to do quite a couple of very specific training videos on just one muscle group, uh, showing you the exercises, the moves, you know, the techniques and all those things and so on. So keep your eyes and ears open. But otherwise, everybody, go and train. Happy training and have a great new year. Cheers, everybody. Gert Love from Cape Town, signing off.